Okay, we're in Excite Pro, and I'm um, going to go over in this video on how to uh, position some images. Sometimes you'll try to drag them around, and they do things like this, and you can't really position them too good. It's not like a word processor like Word. You can't just drag it and put it where you want it. So one of the easy ways to do this is to create a table. So I'll do that. I'll hit Enter and go to the table icon up here in the menu. And since I have four images, I'll select a two by two table. And I'll just drag it out somewhere close to the size of the uh, main panel here. Center it. And now I can just put the images in each cell by dragging them left click and drag it into the cell. So now we have four images and four cells. But one thing I like to do is set the cell width. You can adjust whatever whatever you want. I'm going to uh, evenly space it. So if I right click and go to table properties, I can see 566. So I'm going to make it easy. I'm going to go 550. And then each cell I'm going to do a width of 275. You really only need to do it on the, the top cell of each column. And that will set, that will keep all the cells below it the same width. So now you can see we're already starting to, you know, separate our images the way we want them. And you can do even more positioning by right clicking in the cell and going to cell properties. And you can see right now that this first image here is left top. So you can do left middle, baseline bottom. And then you can do center, top, middle, baseline bottom. And you can do right. So actually, there's, you know, a number of positionings that you can for this image that you can get in this one cell. You can go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So if we go right, middle, click OK, that's right middle. So let's do them all center, center. Actually, be center, middle. So the center, middle. Cell properties on this next one. Center, middle. Cell properties on the third one. Center, middle. And the last one, center, middle. So now you can see that we're starting to, you know, evenly space things out. They're kind of lined up together. Even if you go bigger they stay lined up pretty good so that's one easy way to do it to line things up and you know like I said you can if you need this image up or down you can adjust the, uh, the cell properties and have that go up or down and another way you can play with this is to also go to the cell properties and the style tab margins and you can play with the padding here. That'll be another video. And once you have your images positioned where you like, you can remove the table borders by right clicking, going to table properties, and setting the border at zero. Now you just have your images showing up. This gray line will not show when you preview. This is just for your reference. So when you preview it or publish it, this gray line will be gone. There they are.